game was always my dream, to play at the highest level, to achieve greatness. Too small, not strong enough, won't make it. You have to believe in yourself when others don't. Hard work, dedication, and commitment helped me to get to this stage, to represent my country at the biggest tournament in the world. Qualifying for this, for this World Cup, that was huge for me. I've always uh, wanted to play in a World Cup, and after not doing so last time around, this was the moment that uh, really I was most proud of what this World Cup is going to mean to people, what it's going to mean to myself and my team, which is everything. And uh, we're going to give it absolutely everything. I want to be a big leader on the national team. That's what I push for, and, and every time I step out on the field, that's, that's what I want my, my teammates to see. We never expected any of this to, to happen as far as the level he is, where he is right now. But my wife and I knew there was something in him playing soccer. It was almost unbearable to see how driven he was. I think I've just learned to be fearless ever since I was, you know, super young playing against older kids. You know, my dad taught me, oh, taught me to never be scared of anyone. Go in, be confident, be yourself, put in the work. I think you can accomplish anything. And that's the way I've always seen it. Ready? Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Are you ready? Oh. You think I did better than that? <laughs> I was going for the bank shot. Watch. Ready? <laughs> Off the backboard. That's yes. what I like to see. How do you keep that? Yeah. That's how to keep through all these like rough games. It's the competitive spirit within me. I just always want to win no matter what it is that I'm doing. A lot of the top athletes will have that same drive in them when something that they're doing isn't up to their standards. They're not going to stop training, not going to stop until they get it right. And that's how I've always been. I truly am competitive in everything that I do, whether it's this, golf, soccer, anything in the world. Did he have a mindset of an elite soccer player from a young age? I believe he did. I think it's the fearlessness to want to be put in uncomfortable positions. And he was fearless when he was 15 years old and he had to make a trip to Germany. And then on his next move to make a step into the Premier League, he accepted that challenge. You know, you have to always want to be the best in, in, in everything you do, whether it's every training session, whatever you're working on as far as what you need in your game and putting that extra time in, and he's willing to do that. You started becoming a big fan of chess, and you're, I know that you stream chess. I love chess. It started a couple of years ago. I think there is a lot of just keeping your mind sharp and the way that you have to think quickly. I also play a lot of like speed chess, like three-minute games, where right. it's just like constantly having to make decisions. In some ways, it does like calm me down. After a tough day, after a good day, I can just come home and go play some chess, and it's uh, just something that, that uh, I always enjoy doing. What would your advice be to young, a young player here coping with the mental pressures? Make sure you're always enjoying the game because that's that's been a, a real big one for me. You know, the second that you feel like the game isn't fun anymore and you're just playing just to play and to please other people, you're never going to reach um, the highest level. So you need to be yourself, enjoy the game, play because you love it, because you have a passion for it. And that's when I feel like I'm at my best.